the the notion that uh, that uh, I found students struggling with the most, and especially we have one assignment that's always incredibly conceptually difficult um, for students because it involves both recursion and mutation. And so you have a function that's going to change the state of a data structure, and when it returns, it has to put it back in the same state. And that is really interesting to watch students um, slowly piece through what that means, because it requires them to think about the recursive call as I feel like it's it's in a different it's in a, there's something um, extra about what what's going on with the recursive call than uh, than students usually have to think about when they're working with um, um, uh, with, with functional programs. The other reason that these you know that this notion of thinking about what's um, how do I restore the things that I've broken. Um, leads to a lot of the key ideas that go, it, the, the, that we uh, look at over and over in the course. Um, the idea of having invariants that are violated partially and then restored um, as the, and I think the, the core example of that is you've got a, um, a heap data structure, a, a priority queue implemented as a heap, and for a while you have this data structure that is completely not a heap, but that because it's only violated in one place, you can keep fixing it, and eventually you'll get back to where you started. I think that that's the, 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 those uh, are things that we can very, very um, uh, nicely capture in the way that our course does reasoning about imperative programming, and that's maybe the next thing I should speak a little bit about. But um, there are other things about, well, you've got a function, it's going to change the world, but it's got to put it back in the same place as when you started. Um, those are things that I've seen students really struggle with in, in, in an interesting way. <laughs>